Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm Meatsy69, welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we're going to look at the Conway, but we're going to look at it in depth because it has two very special guns, like it's got two amazing guns, and what gun you run is completely up to you. Now I've always, and I've always, always, always said that I run the big gun, you know, it's more fun for me uh, to do the Alpha, it's got the Hesh, um, so yeah, I'm a big gun person. However, um, trying to get this footage was an absolute nightmare using the big gun. Um, it just, I was doing okay, like 3k plus damage, but uh, yeah, my team were just falling apart and it is a lot difficult to carry using that big gun. So we're going to have a look at both guns and then we're going to get into the game uh, with both guns as well. So the first one that you're looking at is the big gun and, and the second one is the small gun. Uh, so with the big gun, you have a DPM of 2,849. But actually it's going to be less uh, because you should be running the uh, calibrated shells to up that Hesh pen, um, which you can see as being 220 mil. So yeah, you have to run calibrated shells. Um, um, to get that pen, uh, of course, if you don't. Whereas the other gun, you've got 3,352 DPM. Now, the penetration standard is literally almost the same, but you do only have 400 alpha instead of the 600. Uh, whereas your, your rate of fire it almost doubles. So that's where your DPM comes from. And of course, the reload almost halves. So yeah, reload is 12.63 with the big gun and just 7.16 with the small gun. Of course, it's a small caliber gun on the, the small gun. Uh, but the shell velocity is better, the aim time is better, the dispersion is better, um, and they, of course they both had 10 degrees of gun depression, which is also very, very nice as well. Um, See, so yeah, whatever gun you want to run really, then uh, you should run. Honestly, both guns are as good as each other, even though the big gun doesn't have uh, that DPM that the small gun has got, it does have that alpha, and the alpha you know 600 alpha and you have the opportunity to do a bit more if you uh, are running that hash now if you do run the big gun make sure you do carry uh, enough hash because uh, you can actually penetrate if you aim you can penetrate more than you think you know those of you that know hash you, you'll know uh, what i'm talking about you, you know hash is great i absolutely love hash and everyone uh, should love Hesh as well. Now with this gun, it is uh, hit and miss as well. As you see there, I had no idea. Um, I don't think was I running Hesh and shot the thing. I'm not quite sure what I was, unless it was just uh, just a miss. Um, but yeah, either gun. Now years ago, me and Skate Extreme. Those of you that have been around for a while will, will remember my good friend Skate Extreme. So when this tank first came out, I was like, yeah, this gun's better. This gun is much better. And he was like, dude, what are you talking about? The small gun is better. So of course, I, I went and played the small gun and I'm like, damn, you, you are right. And no idea that shot there, why I didn't just go for the back of the turret instead of hitting some spaced armor. I do not know. <laughs> but yeah, that will come, that could come back to haunt me uh, later on in the game. It could be dead right now if I just wouldn't have freaking uh, messed up there. Don't ask me why I did that. I, I just did, okay? Um, so, yeah, we argued and then I, I agreed with him. I was like, yeah, okay, fair enough. The small gun is better. And those of you that are wondering what gun to use, again, like I said, it is totally up to you. It all depends what you prefer. Do you prefer alpha or do you prefer DPM? Now, either way, the better gun is the small gun the better gun is the small gun uh is it more enjoyable well it can be you know again it all depends on your preference you might like alpha or you might like dpm so if you like dpm then the small gun isn't gonna be uh um, then the big gun sorry isn't gonna be for you however if you like alpha then the small gun won't be uh useful for you so uh yeah both guns uh are absolutely fantastic and that is what i like about a tier 9 tank, you know, it gives you the option, it really does give you the option, if you don't want to play it with the big gun, you know, even if it is a couple of rounds, a couple of uh, couple of battles, you'd be like, yeah, you know what, I'm going to go and play the small gun for a little bit, or I'm going to go and play the big gun, uh, because they are like two different tanks, so it all depends on how you want to play, now of course, we've uh, we, we done okay here in the, uh, we're using the big gun, 
Of course, we uh, we did mess up just a little bit, but uh, yeah, we, I think we 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 done okay. Three point one k damage at the minute. Four kills, one tank left. Can I get the shot? Just about good by B Z sixty eight. So yeah, three and a half k damage. Uh, I thought that would be enough for an ace. To be fair, considering I wasn't camping, I was at the front of the map. Uh, but yeah, sadly, is only enough for a first class. So this game is, of course, the second game. Now, I, I actually got this very easily. A lot less time than I did with using the big gun. So, of course, this is the small gun. As you can see, 7.2 seconds reload. And, again, you can still use the, the HE, but it's just not as uh, it's not as fun as the other gun but what is as fun is the fact that you're shooting every seven seconds and you can still see you could do over 500 damage if you can get that he out but uh over time i think i do probably now uh, prefer the small gun having played both guns more recently um yeah it's it's for me it, it is about the dpm i mean the alpha can be fun of course uh, any tank with uh, high alpha uh, of course can be fun uh, but i think with this tank it is more about the dpm you can carry a lot better um you you can get around the map and you're you're going to equal a lot of tanks dpm you know even though you are a tank destroyer uh well normally tank destroyers do have decent dpm anyway um the speed i mean the speed's okay i'm glad the the tank has got the extra speed boost uh, and in fact the whole line has got that extra speed boost and to be fair it, it does need it now this shot here again uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with some of my shots and that could potentially cost us the game because I'm almost a one shot and in fact I am now a one shot and luckily because I have the DPM um, I can actually take care of that guy and just about get out the way uh, before I get shot um, as you can see but now I'm in a, a bit of a situation I I'm stuck. I, I literally cannot move uh, because if I go, the WZ is going to shoot me. The only thing I could really do at this point in the in the game is wait. You know, we, we've got two caps. Maybe I'll get lucky. Um, maybe not. But so far, I've done 2.7k damage. We're on two kills. So, you know, we, we're not too bad. Uh, the only thing I can do uh, is hope that the enemy do make the mistake. And as you can see, the WZ is pushing in. Don't know why he's pushing in. He should have just waited for his team. And, and then he's, uh, yeah, he's going to try and chase me around. And no chance whatsoever. And again, that is where the DPM gun does come in handy uh, i know i'd be able to do the alpha and do the damage if i was running the big gun but i don't think i would have been able to take him out as easy as i as i have um <laughs> with the small gun so yeah both tanks um or both guns have their advantages uh but overall i would probably recommend this gun here uh because you could just you can just carry better. You, you've got more chance to carry using this gun than you have using the big gun. But as I've said, uh, both tanks or both guns, sorry, are equally, not equally, but both, both tanks uh, with the guns using different guns are fun. You know, it doesn't matter. You can, again, like I said, you can, you can change it about. You can change it about one game you, you can, or a couple of games you can use this gun, and then a couple of games you can use this gun. But overall, I do think the DPM gun, uh, which is what I'm running now, is the better gun. Uh, so let me know your thoughts. What gun do you prefer? Do you prefer the Alpha or do you prefer the DPM? Let me know in the comments below. And I'm going to get myself killed here. I, I do be, uh, I'm a bit greedy. And uh, he actually turns and gets me pretty uh, pretty nice. But uh, we do go on to, to win the game. And of course, we, we get the, the well-deserved mastery badge as well. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. As I've said, leave the comments in. Uh, down below uh, what gun you prefer better dpm or alpha hope you enjoyed it i'll see you soon bye bye